Communal, Luigi Ferraris. Sam Dorian Blue in a corner for them. Francesco Flacchi sends this one to Daniele Franceschini in the header hops for Julio Cesar, the keeper, but he also took a kick in the process. Inters Marco Matarazzi didn't like it, and guess what happens here? Gennaro Del Vecchio with the Zizou special, and down goes Matarazzi. He's holding his face. Del Vecchio is furious with the supposed play acting by Matarazzi. Here's again Del Vecchio with the coup de boule, as they say in French, and we learned a lot about that this summer, didn't we, with Mr. Matarazzi. Matarazzi didn't look overly impressed, and he wanted something to be done about it. No, oh, don't worry, the referee was on it, looking for Del Vecchio, and it is a red card for the Zizou impersonator, and the referee saying, come on, even though Del Vecchio was uh, arguing the call. Matarazzi, well, his teammates were trying to calm him down. Uh, Del Vecchio saying he was play acting, but now Matarazzi is piping hot, and the referee wanted to chat with him, and there's the yellow card. Uh, whew, fun stuff. I sense a book coming on. <laughs> oh, Another one. Inter on the offensive. Or we're talking game action now, and it's a mic on going after it. And this ball in for Zlatan, and he makes it 1-0, beating Luca Castellazzi. And now look at this. Zlatan is down, but Del Vecchio was already red carded, so he had nothing to do with this. He uh, bangs heads with uh, Giulio Falcon. Uh, the goal in the 35th. The keeper Castellazzi just waving at it. Uh, Zlatan was all right after he clunked heads. Inter adds another with Mykon. They've now won 14 straight after the 2 0 win. Harry with a game to play, welcoming Loli Parma and the chance to add points to their drive for a European place. Parma in white under new ownership. Tommaso Gerardi's group taking over this week. Off the start, it's Milan taking over the action on the pitch, though. The quick ball movement leading to a shot by Clarence Seedorf. Luca Bucci there to make the save. Not too much trouble at all for Mr. Bucci. Moments after, it is Alberto Girardino to Kaká, the Brazilian, blazing it but sending it high. Parma, well, you could say lucky to be level. Visitors not creating much of anything until late in the opening period. Igor Budan running onto a blocked shot. He sends one goalward. Dida there, and he'll stop those in his sleep. Talking point right from the start of the second half. Parma on the move when Budan shot off the arm of Daniele Bonera. Igor wants a dot shot. Uh, he's not going to get one, but he's going to ask, and he got to, I guess. Tough one to call against the defender there. Time winding down when Andrea Pirlo's free kick sets up Pipo and Zaghi. 1-0 AC Milan on the goal in the 76th. Shiny, happy Pipo. The sub makes the difference as Milan wins it 1-0. At Stadio, Jose Manuel Pinto leading out.